SA56, a simple explanation of the Whirlpool Galaxy. The Whirlpool Galaxy is one of the most impressive sights in astronomy and has become famous because of the Hubble Space Telescope. It consists of a whirlpool of stars and is strongly reminiscent of the sketches of Leonardo or the writings of Descartes. About half a century ago, it was discovered that the orbital velocity v of the stars becomes constant no matter how far they are from its centre, measured by the radial distance r. The velocity curve of v against r rises to a plateau and stays there. The astronomer who discovered this was vilified and uh, dismissed contemptuously because the velocity curve defied the dogma of the time. It showed that the Einsteinian general relativity is completely incorrect. It also showed that the Newtonian theory is also completely incorrect because the latter theory produces a curve that rises to the plateau and then falls off again to zero. Uh, Newton is not so universal after all. This could uh, not be accepted scientifically because it would mean loss of funding and tenure, so it is easier to shoot the messenger. The beauty of the Whirlpool Galaxy was shrouded in dark matter. The latter does not exist, but uh, it is convenient for funding and tenure. The Whirlpool of Stars also shows that uh, all those precision tests of general relativity uh, are effectively uh, uh, nonsense. They do not work outside a solar system in which relativistic corrections are very uh, tiny. Now we know that Einstein's ideas are totally wrong everywhere. This is like uh, Titanic all over again. It takes uh, only one piece of data to refute the theory. Who wrote that? It was Albert Einstein. Conveniently, he was no longer around when the velocity curve was discovered. Otherwise, he would uh, have abandoned general relativity and others would have uh, lost funding. He abandoned the idea of Big Bang in 1939, but that was inconvenient for Hawking and Penrose. Hoyle coined the term Big Bang as a form of terminal sarcasm, but uh, no one noticed. After an immense waste of time, it uh, has been discovered that there was no Big Bang, because Big Bang is based on a torsionless theory. In the detritus of fiasco, we should uh, return to common sense. So I devised a simple explanation for the velocity curve of a spiral galaxy. Most untenured intellectuals uh, would uh, do the same, and most school papers. After UFT 194, uh, line element general relativity is no longer of any use, so in uh, 196 and following, a completely new approach uh, is tried out using the simplest possible version of the spin connection of Cartan, following the advice of William of Ockham, to keep it simple. For this, he was declared a heretic by horrified colleagues at Oxford and Paris and was about to be used as a spare candle when the Bavarian king gave him protection. This new approach does not use the ideas of Einstein at all, neither does it rely very much on Newton. It uses the def definition of uh, linear velocity in cylindrical polar coordinates in a plane. The kinetic energy is made properly relativistic and uh, from that the total angular momentum L is found using the Euler-Lagrange equation. The orbital velocity of the spiral galaxy or anything else is expressed in terms of L and an observable orbital function dr by d theta. In the beautiful spiral galaxy, the observed orbit is a spiral. There is uh, a wondrous spiral of stars. To be uh, precise, this is the hyperbolic uh, spiral theta equals r 
sub zero over R, where theta is uh, the angle of the cylind cylindrical polar coordinate system in a plane, the plane polar coordinates, and where R sub zero is a constant of dimensionality. So the velocity is found very simply and is a constant as R becomes infinite. This is a simple explanation of things uh, that the friar William would have approved of. There is no need of uh, funding, funding. This drives the dogmatists crazy. Things can be explained uh, using school level mathematics without even asking for billions. Even worse, uh, this idiotic simplicity reduces to Newtonian dynamics when we come back to Earth, where Newton happens to work almost by accident. This enlightenment gets rid of dark matter like uh, Dracula at dawn and leaves tens of thousands of papers stranded. It is no longer possible even to shoot the messenger, because the messenger does not have tenure and uh, never misses it. Grant applications can be made, but they get harder and harder to believe. Recent experiments have shown that there is no dark matter at all, so how can 98% of the universe be filled with it? Uh, grant giving agencies uh, say so. The answer is given by uh, the idiotically obvious. A whirlpool galaxy is torsion and is formed by a kind of torque generated by space-time itself. The kind of torque needed is proportional to the square of theta. Who said that science is not simple?